time. I'm guitarist in front of and criminals. I'm loving it. This is my baby. This is a Les Paul um, standard, um, standard translucent. You know, I mean, that's because these lovely patterns. You know, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, um, it's really versatile. It's really chunky when I need to be. It's got the pop-out switches as well, which do um, some phasing things, um, some boosts as well. Uh, I usually have it on the on the rhythm pickup, you know. Um, and, and the reason for that is just so it, I don't pop out the mix and it's not too tinny, you know, because it's, it's a smooth band, you know, and it's, it's, it's grooving and gentle. So when I want to pop out, I, I can, but in general, so yeah, it's just got some beautiful tones on this. <laughs> Just really nice to play, really, really cool. And of and course, it's a pretty guitar. <laughs> it's pretty pretty. Always, yeah. Every time you get this one out, it always reminds me of Carlos Santana. I love Carlos Santana. Actually, I've it? been listening to him a lot, and you know, there's there's bits in song Loco that I, I oh, try and bring yeah, in yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm loving this. It's also got it's got tuning locks there, which are oh, really handy yes, yes. when you're in the heat of the moment and you've got to change a string, they're, uh, they're super useful. For, for the set, I think I'd say probably 60%, 65% is on this guitar. Uh, but to be honest with you, I could probably do the whole set on this guitar. <laughs> so this is my uh, Telecaster, I'm going to say custom, but it wasn't customised by Fender, it was customised by the bloke who bought it off, off eBay. <laughs> and, uh, this guy got a Mexican Tele and he, he kind of blinged it out. You know, he got these DeMarco uh, pickups on there, a beautiful scratch plate and all gold uh, knobs and gold finishing on everything. Gold, he, he put it on eBay as, uh, for 350 quid, right? And um, hoping that the bids would go high. I just thought, all right, I'll put a bid in. Well, I'm never going to get it. No one else bid on it. So, uh, you know, he was almost in tears. When I drove to Birmingham, I said, yeah, sorry, dude, I bought it. But it's going to a good home. So I think he was a bit more cheered up when he found out it Where was getting played, you know, around the world and stuff. So it's got another, it's got a pull out face switch on the tone control there. Um, it's a little bit twangy. It's, it's just, what it's, it's, it's great, you know, so. Really nice. So, uh, you know. Yeah, beautiful. Love playing this one. And if, if, the, if the Gibson Les Paul goes wrong, I can probably do the whole Switch set on this, this one as well. I've gotten used to the positions where the volume switches are, so I can do nice swirling there. Nice swirling there. I love, loved it. Do a bit of that now again. Oh, well, great. This is my Gibson Flying V. This was uh, given to me by Frank uh, in 2016. So it's a 2016 model. It's actually really light, it's really woody, it sounds like kind of Black Sabbath 70s style, you know, it's got a kind of, it's got a very thick, wide, um, thick, wide fretboard there, dead chunky sounding. Um, I've been using it for Scooby Snacks at the end because it's just a bit of va va voom in it, it's pretty yeah, yeah. cool. And the other thing I love about it is that usually it's played like that, you know, by the Metallicas of this world and yes. everything. I like to do this, you hold it up in there and you hold it like that and it's like... Super comfortable. Yeah. It's like a Tommy gun, you know, so yeah, you can you can bring yeah. like that. This one's like dead chunky, as I say. It's great for something like Southside. We've got this uh, Electro Harmonics Octavix. It's like a Jimi Hendrix uh, fuzz octave, if you like. If that's not loud enough, I can always like put in these little blues drivers as a, as a little level up from that, you know, so. But, I, you know, I, Generally speaking, I like the sort of more sweet sounding guitars, you know, but ever so often you need, you need a big daddy like this, you know. Yeah. This is just a beautiful guitar. It's, it's, just a Les, it's just a Fender Strat. It's actually a Mexican one, so it ain't the top, top one. Um, but I found this beautiful, uh, uh, you know, scratch guard. Yeah, it's just real nice. I think it's inspired by Prince. Um, but this one's beautiful um, when I'm using it with my PV Delta Blues amp there. Um, because it's got this, it's got this lovely tremolo on it. Like that. I don't know. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. Really, really warm sound. Like a crystal warm. It's really beautiful. Um, sometimes the tremolo can sound wicked in in, in certain solos. 
other times it can be uh, it can be annoying um, because you'll get quite you'll get gaps in the notes. So that's the way I usually have it for the quieter songs, the slow ones like um, "We're All Very Worried About You," "Grave in the Constant," "Passive Aggressive." I'll put it on for those ones. Maybe "Love Unlimited." But look, this this one's really really nice. But because of the pickups, it's almost a third less volume than the Les Paul, which which when you're in the heat of the moment with the band. It's a big deal because suddenly you can't hear yourself and I'm on full here. So I've got this Andy Timmons uh, dual compressor and all I do is I put that on and then that raises it up to the level of the Les Paul then. Yeah, yeah. And if I press, uh, if I select the second channel, it will go even louder, but I, I, that's just in an emergency. And I, I, this, this, is, this is my amp, I love this one, um, but it, it's not like, it's not really beefy enough on its own to be with the criminals, you know? So. When I joined the band, I thought, right, I need to step up to the plate, you know, and it's like, I found this one on Facebook Market, you know, and I couldn't resist the deal. It came with a flight case and a head, everything. A basic Marshall head, the Origin 50. I don't like amp heads with tons and tons of knobs on. The more knobs on, the more can go wrong. It's got a, knob, it's got a channel boosting switch there for, if I need a bit of extra oomph or whatever. Um, but this on its own, I can do the gig just like that. That's cool. Frank gets a signal from that straight into his ears so he can hear what I'm doing or just sort of turn me off if it's annoying him. But this is a two, two by 12 and so you got, that means you've got two 12 inch speakers inside it. I do want to get a, a, a four by 12 one that's angled to, to live underneath this. So for festivals and that, it'll be like the Don. What I've got here is an AB pedal. So um, I can select which amp to be heard. So this one is the is the PV Delta Blues. You know that I know that because it's got the it's got the tremolo on it and I can act I can get both on like that. Um, you know when I was setting this up I thought oh it'd be so good I can I can give the soundman options but to be honest I just have them both on all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because there's, there's, like there's too much there's too much and too many other things going on to worry about that. I've, I've been using this carbon copy deluxe you know when I first started playing it I'd have it on 12 and that's the um, the volume you hear the echo at you know so if you're in your bedroom right that will sound fine but on stage I found you need to turn up that mix a lot more um, and this is the, you know, the, the regeneration or the amount of times it repeats. Da, 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 you can choose that one. And you know, it's got some modulation on it there that I, I never use. The reason why is because um, I've got my stone, uh, my, fa my uh, phaser pedal here for that. So this makes it sound like nice and like creamy, like a bubble tea creamy. Very like 1970s sort of porn music, you know, it's perfect for that. Of course I've got the wah, just a standard Dunlop Crybaby. When, when, you've been, when, when you're on the road for a substantial amount of time and you've made all the mistakes you're going to make, you tend not to make them again. So it's just a matter of doing loads and loads of gigs really and then you get a lot more calm i don't really get nervous anymore but i get like a, a rush of excitement for a show and they're always telling me i breathe funny um but you know whatever <laughs> luckily my tech now is uh, is frank's younger brother um chris and he's brilliant give us a wave chris i know you don't want to be on camera but he's chris has been absolutely beautiful for me that's it i hope you enjoyed it thanks for doing this man thank you very much <laughs> All right. Cheers, yeah. see you tonight. <laughs> <We're kids. laughs>